Hi, I'm Ariel Marsh and I'm a member of the women's basketball team here at Cal Poly Pomona. This is your Bronco Sports Preview and I'm here with men's head soccer coach Lance Thompson. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. So can you tell me about the conference you guys play in? Yeah, we're a member of the CCAA, uh, very competitive men's soccer conference, uh, arguably one of the top uh, Division II conferences uh, in the nation. Uh, Sonoma State, Dominguez Hills have won national titles in recent years, and even as uh, recent as last year, Chico State was uh, won the regional final and in, uh, in the Elite Eight. So very competitive. And when you're when you're looking for these great players that you see, that you recruit, what what are you looking for in a student athlete to join your team? Yeah. Well, you just hit the nail on the head. It's a student athlete uh, component. And we, the first question we really ask ourselves, are they able to compete in the classroom here? Uh, they have to be able to compete in the classroom or mm -hmm. it'll be tough to survive uh, here at Cal Poly Pomona. As you know, I mean, Cal Poly's got a great academic reputation. Uh, the university sells itself. There's not much that I have to do on our end. Uh, we're inundated with potential recruits to come here and play for us. So. The recruiting side of it becomes pretty easy, um, uh, but the, the first question is, can they compete in the classroom? That's really the first thing we ask ourselves. Uh -huh. So you have All-American Luis Gonzalez returning for his senior year. What does he bring to the team? Yeah, Luis is a dynamic forward without a doubt. Uh, he's got the great ability to f score goals. He's a finisher. He's a pure striker. And obviously in our sport, that's pretty important as goals are hard to come by. Uh, he's got great leadership. He was a junior college uh, national player of the year, wow. uh, first team All-American, and he was an All-American last year. Uh, but great leadership, he's got great speed, and his ability to score is what sets him apart from most others. So goalkeeper Chris Minton transferred from UC Santa Barbara. How is he going to help you guys? Yeah, that was a big pickup for us. We were pretty excited to get Chris. Uh, for this upcoming year. He's, he'll have two seasons with us. He was actually recruited by UC Santa Barbara the year after they won the national championship. Uh, took a red shirt year there and then uh, we were fortunate enough to get him to transfer to us. Uh, owns his area. He has great presence back there. He's a tall keeper, very athletic, uh, but his big uh, attribute for us is his presence in the goal area. Mm -hmm. After your players finish here at Cal Poly, what have you instilled in them as a leader and as a teacher? Yeah, yeah. we talk about the, the most important leadership quality that I believe all the great leaders have is the ability to adapt. And, and I just talked to them about that. Uh, as we were just practicing on field one, we needed to make a move to field two <laughs> for the interview. <laughs> and, and I said, all great leaders have to have the ability to adapt. We're going to adapt, adjust, and have a great session over here. So. <laughs> Hopefully they have the ability to adapt. That's what we're, the key focal point <laughs> Well, is. it looks like they're doing great, yeah. so. <laughs> and how does this Los Angeles area, the talent here compare to other parts? Yeah, I've been fortunate enough to uh, coach in different parts of the U.S., uh, back on the East Coast, around Baltimore, and around the Dallas area, Texas, San Diego, and the Bay Area. Uh, there's, uh, enormous amount of talent here as far as soccer is concerned in the Los Angeles area. If you look at our roster, I'd say 90% of our roster is from the LA region. Uh, so it's nice as we're bringing in local talent to mm -hmm. go to school here and to compete for the soccer team. It helps with our attendance um, and recognition just within the soccer community. So uh, recruiting here is a great, uh, a great option for us as there's so much club you know club teams that are here the high school teams are very competitive so it makes recruiting uh nice and local for us mm -hmm. and can you just talk about the team's goals for this season well i think as any team is entering a new season with a few new players um you know the goals are to be competitive and to give ourselves a chance to compete in every game we realize we don't have the ability to control whether or not we're going to win the games. There's, there's us, there's officials, and there's the opposition. So mm -hmm. we, we don't set those types of goals as we do uh, the ability to control our own effort, uh, to control our performance, and to accomplish some of maybe the smaller goals uh, just within the confines of the game of soccer. So, uh, you know, they're attainable goals for us to be successful, and they're goals that we have control over. Thanks, Coach. Good luck this season. Can't wait to see yep. you guys play. Thanks for having us.
That was your Bronco Sports Preview with head men's soccer coach Lance Thompson. Thank you. Come on, Tom, you think three. Come on, Lee.